Hello, everyone, and welcome to this live broadcast where we're going to be talking all about how you can actually, uh, as an author, use a podcast to grow your business, to grow your audience. Uh, and so I am just, we're a few minutes from actually just getting started. We'll be starting at the top of the hour, and I'm just here kind of ahead of time, making sure all everything's set, making sure the audio is working, making sure the video is working. Uh, so feel free to leave a comment. Let, let me know. I'm monitoring comments. So if you're coming on in, you can leave a comment. Let me know who you are, where you're from, and what uh, if you're an author, fiction, nonfiction, what your book's about, all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to test out, make sure everything else is working well here. All right, let's make sure it's all going through. Da, da, da. So I'm very excited about uh, this broadcast. I've actually uh, used it a few. I have done a similar uh, content before, uh, and people really seem to love it. So I'm excited to bring it here to you. And it looks like everything is working just fine, at least on this end. Let's try and bring in the screen share. Let's make sure this works. Again, we'll be starting right at the top of the hour uh, as well. There we go. So I think this screen share here is working. Looks like it. I am going to see if I can do this even and bring up the full. It's been a while since I've used Google Hangouts uh, to do a full on webinar. Uh, so let's see if we can go and do actual full on slides or if I need to adjust that. And it looks like it is not going to be working. Okay. That's kind of what I thought, kind of what I was afraid of. So let's back on out of here. Let's do this. All right. And we'll be getting started in just a minute or so. So if you, what I want to know is let me know what, what kind of books you write. Uh, if you ha are an author, uh, let me know what your book is all about. And if you are not an author, uh, what is the book that you plan to write? Uh, because we're going to be talking all on how authors can actually use uh, a podcast to really grow their business. And we're going to be getting started here in just a minute or two. So be sure to head on in and leave a comment. Let me know where you're from and what uh, what you're an author of, what your book's about. And I look forward to talking to all of you very soon. And I'm just going to do a double check on some audio here. Perfect. It looks like everything is working just fine and we are going to be getting started here in just one minute. All right, so I'm going to bring it back here so I can kind of talk to you all. Uh, again, welcome, welcome. We're going to be started at the top of the hour. We have about one more minute, 60 seconds uh, before we get started. So if you're joining us, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know where you're from, where you're joining us from, and I look forward to talking to you. And I am. this is a topic that I'm so excited about because I've been there. I've, done, I've written a book. I know how painful it can be to try and market that book. Uh, but with a podcast, it's amazing how... Uh, you're able to get your message out there into the world even more than ever before. And we're going to be talking about some strategies that you can do that you can use to do just that. So we're going to dive on here in here in just a second. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this webinar where we're going to be talking all about podcasting for authors. I am Nick Paul Kusky, and I'm so glad you could join me for this webinar because we're going to really uh, dive into some of, the, some of the strategies that you can actually use as someone who's published a book or someone who wants to publish a book uh, to really uh, get more sales, uh, to get your book and your message out into the world. Uh, I have been through this process before. I have a book, and I'm going to be working. I'm just getting started. 
Uh, we, I'll be starting to write my second book here in just a couple months. And I am, uh, uh, and I know that it is really because of the podcast that I'm going to actually be able to get a ton of sales that I'm going to be able to get my message out there more than ever before. Uh, and if you want to check out actually my very first book, it's the power of podcasting. And you can find that at power of podcasting And I'll actually send you a free copy. Uh, if you head there, all you have to do is pay shipping and handling, but this is not a promotion of the book. It's just to say that, Hey, I know what it's like to actually spend that time to write a book and then to go out and try and reach people. Uh, because that is really where, where the chance, you know, it can feel like that actual writing of a book is a huge challenge, but it, it doesn't get any easier once you finish writing that book. Uh, and then you have to go and really work to market it. But if you do things in the right way, if you have been showing up week after week, if you have been using a strategy like podcasting, like we're going to talk here, you can actually really create some solid momentum. Uh, and, and it makes the marketing of your book much, much easier. So in today's webinar, we have a short little time here. I am going to go through and talk to you about why it uh, authors should be podcasting and about what they can, some tips and strategies that they can do to actually create content that works great in a podcast and is going to actually lead to more book sales. And this is going to be good for both fiction and nonfiction authors. So it's good no matter which side you're on. I spend most of my time in the nonfiction world, uh, but this is going to, I'll show you some strategies that you can use as a, as a fiction author to actually get some excellent results as well. So without further ado, let's dive into some of this content and we're going to start talking all about podcasting for authors and specifically how to actually grow your audience. And if you haven't done so yet and you would like to get a little a worksheet to help follow along, simply head on over to yourpodcastguru.com slash workbook. And that is basically going to be a little worksheet that is going to walk you through some of the content that we cover, mainly the five stages of building a business through podcasting. So why should you think about podcasting? Why should you worry about podcasting? Well, to be honest, one of the big reasons is because it's going to help you reach more people. The podcast is going to allow you to actually expand your audience and expand your tribe because uh, iTunes is going to do a lot of the work for you uh, and you're going to be putting content out there on a regular basis, which is going to help um, you know, reach more people. If they're Googling any topic that you're talking about, they're going to be more likely to find you with that consistent content going out. And all, as well, uh, people are going to be able to actually share your content with their audiences. If you uh, just have a book and you don't aren't really producing any sort of content on a regular basis, they're not able to do that. So it's going to be a big challenge for them to actually share the work that you're doing. Uh, so another big thing that I want you Another big reason is because it's going to help build a relationship with that audience that you're starting to attract. Uh, the, the people who are listening to your podcast are going to be able to hear your voice. They're going to be able to hear the things that you have to say. They're going to be able to uh, build that connection with you because you're showing up and they get to hear your voice. You're in their earbuds while they're working out, while they're driving everything like that. So it's such a great way to really have that connection. Nothing is quite as powerful as the human voice in terms of creating a connection. Uh, video is great too, but uh, doing an actual audio podcast, which is one of the easier forms of podcasting, is a great way to really truly build a very solid relationship. Uh, the next thing big point is the big reason is because it gets them invested. So what do I mean by that? It means that people are going to be showing up week after week, listening to your show, uh, listening and to what you're talking about and taking action on the th various things you're talking about, that they're just going to feel that big connection with you. Uh, and it, they're going to be more likely, more likely to actually go through and then take action on some of the stuff you talked about. Uh, because they feel that connection, they feel that relationship. 
Uh, and then another big one, then this is especially important for you nonfiction authors out there, is it's going to help build that expert status. Because you are, and a book does a lot of that, but when you have a book plus consistently producing content, plus producing a podcast out there on a regular basis, talking with other leaders, uh, just uh, in your field, talking with other people, showing some results, especially when you go through some of the content that we're going to talk about and create those types of content, you're going to be seen as that expert, as that leading authority. And that is extremely valuable for your uh, long-term growth as an author. Speaking of which, uh, another big key with podcasting, a big reason why it's so helpful for authors is because it truly is helps create that long-term success. It allows you to have content out there that is going to live on. The staying power of a podcast episode is when done right, uh, followed with the correct social media strategy and correct other promotional strategies. That has some significant staying power, much more than a Facebook Live or some of these other things. People will go back to these podcast episodes years after they've been created. Like honestly, years after we have podcasts who that are on episode number like 300 and we have people who will jump back and go back to that very first or those very couple episodes, listen all the way through or just uh, depend, be, by one of the strategies that we use, they will constantly be listening to different podcast episodes that have been months old and they get still get a ton of value from that. So it helps create that long-term effect. And really podcasting is a long game and you see the biggest results once you uh, stick with it. Another big thing is because it's going to simply make you better. When you are out there talking to people, when you're out there sharing uh, your content, when you're out there pre presenting your information on a consistent basis, getting the reaction from people. See, the thing is with a book, you're often, you sit, you write the book, you release it, but then you really don't get any feedback or at least not right away and you can't really change it once the book's out there unless, of course, you update it. Uh, you know, every couple of months or something like that, which is definitely possible depending on the book that you wrote. Uh, but with a podcast, you're able to flesh out a lot of ideas. You're able to constantly get feedback. You're able to see what questions people still have even after you've already delivered your content. Uh, and so it's a great way to continue to kind of uh, make your content and make yourself better, make your thinking better, your thinking sharper, and then to just work on that skill of presenting public speaking, because uh, especially for nonfiction authors, uh, the more you can have the, that skill, the better. But then even for the fiction authors out there, just simply seeing how fans react, seeing how people react to the different plot twists, what pieces that have really caught them, what are they really connecting with, that's going to able to when you produce your next book, that's going to able to really shape the way you go about writing that book. And you're able to do it in a way that uh, is more appealing to your ideal audience members. So really, truly uh, that going out there and producing a podcast on a weekly basis is going to be a great way to get better. So what are a few of the things that just frankly, simply do not work? Well, what does not work is that uh, not having a strategy. When you just you know, hit the record button, show up, and uh, just go about it that way, that is simply not going to work because you're not going to have a solid strategy and you're just going to be throwing content out there in, uh, in a very haphazard manner and you're not going to get the results because you're not going to have the systems in place and you're not going to be producing the right kind of content to actually attract an audience to really get people to uh, follow you and to then uh, sign up for your email list and to become raving fans of yours. Uh, I believe that a podcasting system done right can really help create all that, but you need to have that strategy. Also, no commitment. That is another big thing that just simply does not work. For a podcast to truly be for you to really be effective in any area of marketing, especially, or any area of business, you need to have that commitment. And that is so true with podcasting. What I recommend is for people to just commit to one episode a week. I don't want you doing a daily episode. I don't want you doing multiple a week. I want you to get consistent and stay committed to that daily episode for, you know, that 12, 18 
uh, months. Uh, that's when you, I think you're going to really start seeing results. We see most of our clients. So we do a service business where we do podcasting for our clients. We basically go out there and uh, do all the post productions. We see them really get a significant growth uh, at the 18 to 24 month mark. Yes, they're seeing results very early on. We often will get some great results in the first couple months and we'll see consistent growth. But then we see almost this little hockey puck that goes straight up uh, and see some massive growth in their audience uh, at that 18 to 24 month mark. I don't know what it is. We've seen it over and over and over again. Uh, so being committed is crucial. So how can you actually use a podcast as an author? Well, I'm going to run you through a few different tips here. Yeah. Of, and these tips are going to be based on how you can actually go out and create content for your podcast episodes. So tip number one is to tell stories. Uh, you know, as an author, that one of the biggest things people connect with is stories. Is that, you know, hearing the story, whether this goes nonfiction or fiction, but if you can go out there and you can tell a story and you can uh, create that connection, that is going to be extremely valuable. So you want to actually make sure you're, you're telling stories in a way that really hook people in and teach lessons. Or as a fiction author, you want to be telling stories in a way that is intriguing and entices people to want to learn more. So this could, uh, from the fiction side, this could be you know, simply going out there. And, or from the nonfiction side, excuse me, this could simply be going out there and letting people, uh, you, know, you know, telling some stories of uh, that you've seen that people have seen as a result of your book, uh, or that seen ha as a result of your teaching, or even just stories that you, of you and your life, and because this is going to really hook people in and help them create that connection. And then obviously, you're going to have some sort of underlying teaching that you're going to want to have in there. And that's going to really allow them to anchor that lesson. Because as humans, we, we don't necessarily anchor teaching very well. So if you just tell us a lesson, we're not necessarily going to remember that. But we will remember that lesson when it is connected to a really good story. And in your fiction world, uh, this could be telling stories of uh, telling offshoots of the character. It could be telling other different pieces of the, of the characters in your book. So maybe you're telling a story. Uh, you, you could you, just using stories as much as possible is going to be a great way to really create some high quality content. So what, tip number two is going to be to go out there and to actually do readings. So you've seen them, there, you know, in the old bookstores, people used to travel around, go to Barnes and Noble and sit down and do a reading of their book, uh, you know, read a chapter or two. You can do that exact same thing. Uh, and we, act, we have some podcasting clients who that is exactly what they do. They get, have the audio, essentially it's an audiobook version, uh, chapter by chapter, where they're sitting down and doing a reading of their book. Now, I'm not necessarily even recommending you read your whole book or your entire book, uh, especially for fiction, author, or fiction authors. You're not necessarily going to want to read your whole book, but you can pick a ch very intriguing chapter, a very intriguing few pages in the middle of your book somewhere. I wouldn't necessarily read the very beginning because a lot of times the beginning is a little bit of a ramp up period. Uh, but you could pick a very certain specific areas within your book and read those sections. And you, these are going to help entice people. So you're going to do the reading. And then of course, at the end of the podcast, have a call to action to go get your book so that they can be sure to get even more of that great content if they really liked what you're talking about in the book. So tip number three is behind the scenes. This is honestly one of my favorite and one of the, the ones that I think is very under underutilized. So what I mean by this is, uh, and this goes for both fiction and nonfiction authors, is that you should give people kind of that peek behind that scene, behind the scenes. So let them see what your writing process is like. Let them see, okay, this is the desk where I write all this. This is my morning routine or my, my routine for getting started and getting focused. This is how I plot the storyline. Uh, people love to see how art's made. 
uh, and this is a great opportunity for creating some, some content and to get people excited. You could do it in real time. So if you are getting, if you're writing a book right now, you could start capturing some of this behind the scenes and you could have people very intrigued and very excited about actually going to read that book when you're finished. You could do it at a couple different levels. You could uh, do bits and pieces so that no one ever, uh, so you never give away any of the surprises or any too much of the actual training or the secrets behind there. Or you could, especially as a fiction author, you could just go through and give it all away. Um, have people actually go through and you could talk about your decision-making process and why you did this and why you did that. Uh, I would definitely recommend you let them know about all the spoilers. But many people who have gone on that journey with you uh, are going to want to buy your book or even more importantly, they're going to want to get the next book that you release. Uh, so I, you're going to want to think serialize with that approach, I think. Um, but that peak behind the scene is, is truly extremely valuable because people love seeing how everything's put together. Seeing, you know, I, that's one thing I get questions all the time about equipment. I have other friends who get questions all the time about the pencils they use, about how, the process they use, uh, what software. People love to see these things and a podcast is a great way. And then and really what you're doing is you're creating a connection with them when you're giving away some of this information. So that's why I would suggest you start creating uh, content that is very behind the scenes focused because it is going to help build that relationship with your audience, which is ultimately what a podcast does really, really well. Podcast is not where you're going to make direct pitches necessarily, but podcast is where you're going to build that connection with people and help them become raving fans of yours. So I definitely recommend doing some behind the scenes content. Now, the next type, uh, the next big tip is to actually do that inside scoop. So this could be letting people know about something special. So maybe you're putting some Easter eggs into your uh, books that you're writing and you could, uh, you know, let the people on the podcast know kind of, hey, be on the lookout in for this somewhere in the book. Let me know when you find it. Or it could be giving, talking about some special uh, maybe something special that is unique only to people who have the podcast that they could then see uh, in your book when they see it in print. It could be a bunch of different things. It could be about uh, the next series that you have coming up or the next book, or maybe you're speaking at a conference and or something like that. And it's kind of giving them a look, letting them feel like they're that VIP, they're that special, that they're part of a community because they have this insider information that no one else does. Number five, tip number five is to do fan chats. So this, uh, this could be several different things. It could be actually, if you are a nonfiction author, it could be taking people who went through your book and got some results, bring them on the show and really talking to them and doing, uh, like a, a little interview with them all about the content are all about the results that they got. So you're kind of doing a little case study and showing, Hey, these are real people who get real results from the content that I've created. And you can be just like one of these people. Uh, if you go buy this book, check it out. That is a great way to help, uh, kind of keep that, uh, it's showing social proof. It's showing that people are getting results from what you teach. It's showing that you're actually selling books, that people are actually taking action on your advice and that they're getting excellent results and a great way to create engagement because when one of the community members comes on your podcast, it, it in a way, it, it is kind of like all of the community, all of the kind of community members feel like they're at least on your podcast or at least a part of that because it's one of them that's up there. You can't necessarily have everybody in your audience on your show, but you can have somebody who represents your audience on your show. For a nonfiction author or for a fiction author, I think there are a lot of different possibilities that you could do with this. It could be having fans on and letting them kind of, and you could be in, you could be there conducting the interview or conducting little chat or you could have somebody else do that if you don't want to like be influenced or whatever by uh or give something away by being there in the room with your fans um but it would be a great way for people to have your fans make some predictions um what you know i'm a big game of thrones fan and there are uh, blogs and predictions out there like crazy. Okay. This is what's going to probably happen. This is what's going to happen. This is, uh, what that looked meant. 
but you could have your fans, you could orchestrate that with fan chats where you could have a couple different fans and debate possible endings, debate possible turns or to predict what they think might happen. Again, you could very upfront, uh, like do a little intro and say, Hey, the, this are two fans. I'm not necessarily involved in this, but this is, uh, what they think might happen. Do you agree with them? Do you disagree? I think that's a great way to really engage your audience around a fiction book, especially. So what else? So that was tip number five was to do the fan chats. And tip number six is to do interviews. With this, I mean doing interviews with other thought leaders in your area, and that's especially true for those nonfiction people out there, is to actually just bring in other people, other experts who can really talk about this. Um, and then for fiction authors, what you can do is if you have somebody who you could even do, you could do a, a several different things. Um, you could bring on your editor, you could bring on the cover art designer, you could bring on somebody else related to the book, related to uh, the genre even, and interview them. So you could bring on other authors, you could bring on fellow authors in that genre and interview them. And that is really great for you as a fiction author because that person is like, they already are in the same genre, so you already know that their audience of readers likes reading those type of stories. Well, if they share that interview with their audience, a certain amount of them are going to come over, listen to that interview. They might like your, your interview. They might like your podcast, decide to subscribe. They might go check out your book because they know they're kind of in line. Uh, so you could get some excellent extra readers just by doing these interviews with other authors. So I definitely would recommend that. Tip number seven is Q and A's. This is where you simply take question and answers from your audience. So you have them submit those in several different ways. It can be, you know, uh, that you can have somebody online online to kind of represent the audience and just read questions, or you could get pre-submitted ones and just answer those. But this will work excellent with both fiction and nonfiction, just doing those question and answer ones. And then I do have for tip number eight is to go out there and to actually create some bonus content. So this could be several different things. It could be for uh, you nonfiction authors. It could be a chapter that you cut and you could go through and talk about that content or you could dive deeper into one chapter or one specific con concept that you talk about in your book for the fiction authors. Uh, I know for me, I just listened to the his again, so like I said, a Game of Thrones fan. Uh, I just listened to the history of Westeros. So you could go through uh, that. I listened to an entire audiobook of that. You could go through and create a, a little podcast episode that talks about some of the backstories that is not part of the main the main book, not you know part of necessarily the main story but really dives in to some of those extra things that those true fans that those people you want to get to be those raving fans are interested in and that you could really uh share with them test test i want to make sure it looks like we might have lost audio Okay. Well, it looks like audio is still going through. Um, sorry about that. It looks like the audio is still going through. It just was not showing up here on, uh, on the Google live hangout. So hopefully everything is working well and we're going to keep rolling. Uh, but now, uh, as an author, these are just several different way pieces of your content. These are several different strategies that you can use to actually create solid content and really to grow an audience. And I just want to encourage you to go think about how you can do this. I think I truly, truly believe that the best way to grow your business, no matter what kind of business you're in nowadays, and but especially a bit, your business as an author, one of the best ways to grow that is to consistently add value to your audience on a regular basis. And podcasting is a phenomenal way to do just that. So now I have a question for you. What do you think? 
uh, are you ready to create your own podcasting system? Are you ready to actually go and uh, develop a system and really use that system to uh, grow your audience and to really create raving fans of your pod of your books? Well, you basically have two options as your next step. And the first one is option number one. It is the complicated and confusing route. It's where you go through and you Google things and you try to figure out your own way to actually go through. Uh, and it definitely can be done. You can look up what is RSS feed is, how to connect that to iTunes, what, how to edit your show. Should you use Adobe Audition? Should you use GarageBand? What type of mic do you need dynamic condenser? Do you, you what, what works well for cover art? What is the strategic way to actually go about and create a nurture sequence and how to get the most out of each episode? There are so many things that you can go out and you can find, but it can definitely be complicated and confusing. And then there's option number two. And then option number two is the simple and strategic route. It's following a process that someone who has done this with dozens of clients over four or five years now has actually figured out and learned this process and can teach you in a step-by-step -step fashion in a very simple and strategic way. Well, I want to introduce you to the Podcasting for Profits online course. The Podcasting for Profits is all about how you can actually build a business through podcasting. So what is podcasting for profits? It is a complete step-by-step -step system to help you grow your audience and your business through podcasting, even if you are starting from scratch. No email list, no problem. We can help you get started right away. We can help you build that audience and we can even help you write your book as you're releasing your podcast. So what is all inside podcasting for profits? Well, it basically walks you through. There are eight different modules that walk through my five stages of building a business through podcasting. And stage number one is the plan stage. And in this, uh, actually this stage, we break up into four modules because there's so much information that I want to make sure that you have no question. I will walk you through click by click everything you need to know to really plan and get started podcasting. And then stage number two is the launch stage. This is where we're going to show you three weeks leading up to the public launch date, how to build some momentum uh, for your podcast, how to get your audience excited, how to get people excited to actually go and subscribe, listen, and leave a review for your podcast so that more people actually find out about your show. And then we walk you through the process for eight weeks after the public launch date, because there's a very special period uh, in iTunes where you can actually, uh, you get to rank in what's called the new and noteworthy section where you're only competing against other podcasts that are within that 56 day window. And the lovely thing about that is that it is the top section in iTunes. It's where people see first. It's where they go to listen and discover new podcasts. So we want you to rank really well with that. So we walk you in through, through the entire launch process to do just that. And then stage number three is the attract stage. This is where I really want you to focus in on just growing your audience. I want you to focus in on the social media strategy you use, the way you can start creating content consistently and how to actually get people from being anonymous listeners. So people just out there listening to your podcast, you have no idea who they are, just a, a, you know someone downloading and listening. But I want you to teach you how to actually get them to raise their hand, sign up for your email list, and become... Uh, even move that one step closer to being a customer and a client of yours to purchasing your books and then eventually becoming a raving fan of you and your content. Well, uh, that then moves into stage number four. This is the stage that too many people try to jump to too early. So we want to make sure you get through entire stage three and I'll tell you when you're ready to actually jump on to stage four. Uh, where we monetize. And for you as an author, a big focus is going to be getting people to buy your book. It's setting up the system, setting up the processes to actually get them to buy your book. Now, if you are 
a nonfiction author, especially, there are other revenue streams that we can really use to actually help increase uh, the profits that you're getting from your podcast that are going to actually help build a very solid business off of the back of your book and your podcast. But it's all about creating the systems and we show you exactly what systems to create, what products to do first and how to create a progressive product suite. Uh, I will show you all of that in stage number four. And then stage number five is the scaling up. This is where you're looking to just maximize everything, maximize your impact and your income. We're going to teach you how to delegate properly because yes, in case you haven't realized yet, delegation is a skill. It is not just handing things off to someone or just not, it's not just telling someone, Hey, go do this. No, it is a skill that you need to learn how to delegate and follow up properly. We're also going to show you a hiring process to start bringing on outsourcing people so you can do more of what you do best, which is really focusing in on your writing and creating amazing content that adds value to your audience. I don't want you to deal with all of the rest of the stuff. I want you to really focus in and learn how you can actually add value to people. Uh, and we do this in the scaling up stage. Uh, and what are you going to get inside podcasting for profits? Well, you're going to get the complete podcasting system planner, and this is going to help you plan your entire podcast, plan the entire system, how to actually go through these different stages. Uh, you're going to get all the trainings that are available. All the trainings are available right now. So you can as soon as you sign up, you're going to get access to them and it is 100% online. There are over 20 plus training videos. There are over 10 plus cheat sheets and checklists that you're going to get access to. And these, honestly, people love these. We have people in the course right now who just love the cheat sheets and the checklist because I basically break down the entire systems we use. So I have a checklist for how to go through and produce your podcast on a weekly basis. Uh, this is what you, you need to do this first, do this second. Be sure to click here and add the pretty link at this point. Do Make sure to do, do this, do this, do this. We walk you through step-by-step step in everything. Send this inter email to the interviewee and I give you swipe copies. Uh, swipe files to use to help craft your own. Uh, we give you checklists for getting ready to record. We walk you through every possible thing revolving around podcasting that I can possibly think of and systematize. Uh, so you also get access to a members only private Facebook group. Uh, so the, you're going to get access to that as well. Uh, and then finally you're going to get the cheat sheets and checklists. Uh, like I mentioned, you get access to those. And I'm also going to be throwing in a few bonus items for you. Uh, the big one being here is you're going to get number one, you're going to get a 30 minute coaching call with me. This can be used at any point, uh, during, during your podcasting process. Uh, just simply sign on up and I'm going to help you whether you want to be one extra help with the planning stage, with the launch stage, or with the uh, monetization stage. Uh, you can use this coaching session whenever. Uh, bonus number two is you're going to get free access to our premium online community, which is called Podcast University, where I talk to other experts in the online world and all about their systems, what they're using to grow membership sites, what they're using to uh, do big affiliate launches. We're talking with them and getting extra content, extra value for you, and you get free access to that as well. Uh, bonus number three is you're going to get the podcast launch swipe file. So I go through and give you the exact swipe file we use for all the different components within the launch stage. Uh, bonus number four is the launch team template templates. You're going to get fill in the blank copywriting templates. So all you have to do is change, uh, fill in specific areas for your industry, for specific content, and you're going to have, uh, templates for your launch team. And basically what a launch team is, it's part of our launch strategy that we go over in stage two of getting people, a small group of people to really rally around and send their audience to your podcast and to leave a reviews right when we start, because reviews are extremely important in a podcasting world. Uh, so this is going to walk you through exactly how to do all of that. And I'm really excited about this bonus. Uh, you're going to get two free tickets to pop 
podcasting for profits live event. This is a live event that we'll be doing here in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, it's in October and you're going to get two free tickets. This is almost a $400 value. So you can uh, bring your business partner, bring your spouse, bring a friend who might be interested in podcasting, but I am extremely excited about this live event. I cannot wait to see you there. Uh, and if you order before the end of this webinar, so if you sign up before the end of this webinar, you are actually going to get a fast action bonus, which is a free microphone, the ATR 2100. It's the most recommended microphone. It's kind of the basic level microphone that I send out to clients uh, and that I recommend other people if they're looking for a good solid starter microphone that they jump in with this one. You're going to get that for free just for signing up before the end of this webinar. So are you ready to create your own highly profitable podcasting system? Well, you might be wondering, what is the investment? And luckily for you, the total value of podcasting for profits is actually $5,194. But today, your investment is $97 with 11 installments of 97 to follow. So you get access to all of this uh, for a very special offer, you can do a one-time payment of $9.97 or 12 payments of $97, but you need to take action before March 24th because this offer is going to go away. Uh, you're not going to have access to this very special offer anymore. And all you have to do is simply go to podcastingforprofitscourse.com to sign up. So just head on over to podcastingforprofitscourse.com and you can sign up for this. And once you're there, all you have to do is make your choice. Are you going to pay in the one lump sum or you, do you want to do the 12 monthly payments? And once you kind of make your choice, uh, sorry, everything got messed up there. Uh, so you're going to go through and you are going to make your choice of $9.97 or 12 payments of $97. And if you decide to go with the one-time payment, I'm actually going to throw in a very special bonus. And this special bonus is you're going to get a, a full one-day live in-person coaching session with me. So eight to five, we're going to dive into your business and really talk about all of your, uh, your podcasting and how you can actually use that to really ramp up your business and go through any struggles that you're having a full day here in Madison. We'll walk you through, you get that as a bonus if you choose that one payment option. And once you make your decision of which option you're going to go with, then you're just simply going to log into the members area and it is all going to be waiting for you. All the training is right there just waiting for you. But there's more. <laughs> so I know that's a little infomercially, but just wait. We have another special thing for you is that the regular price for podcasting for profits is one payment of $97 or 12 payments of $9.97. But when you take action and sign up before March 24th, you can get it for one payment of $747 or 12 payments of $74. That is the best deal available for podcasting for profits. I'm giving it to you just because you're here on this webinar. So I highly recommend you take action before the 24th and don't wait. So all you have to do is, again, this is the special deal. Be sure to go take action uh, before the 24th to get one-time payment of $747 or 12 payments of $74. And again, all you have to do is head on over to podcastingforprofitscourse.com. So now you may be thinking, uh, and this may be one of the things that's hold holding you back, is that I simply don't know where to start. Well, you do not need to worry because we're going to walk you through that exact process. I'll show you what questions you need to be thinking about right at the beginning. I will show you what gear to buy. We will show you click by click how to submit to iTunes. We'll show you exactly how to edit your shows. We have Pete, we have the community that is willing to actually go through and give you feedback on all, all the different pieces of your podcast to make sure it is high quality and the best that you can possibly do. And then another thing you might be feeling is I simply don't feel comfortable recording. Well, I don't want that to be an issue. So we've walked you through everything we can possibly think of. We have a full, we have videos on the art of teaching, talking you through how to actually go about and create great content 
uh, how to actually go through what to think about, what content you should be talking about. Uh, we have templates for interviews and how to actually be a great interviewer. We show you good mic technique, what that looks like. And we even have that community that there, they, there are people there more than willing to do practice interviews with you. So I do not want you to feel uh, com uncomfortable recording. So we want to make sure that this is as simple and easy for you. And it is going to, honestly, it's something that you're going to get better with at time. Uh, over time, you know, it does take a little bit of practice, but we want to make it as easy of a jump in for you as absolutely possible. And I do that in the podcasting for profits course. Uh, and you may be thinking, well, I don't have anything to sell. Maybe you haven't written your book yet. Well, I will show you exactly the very first product that you should go through and create. Uh, I, I show you exactly what to do. I show you how to package it. I show you how to actually go about creating it. We walk you through that exact process so that yes, you will have something that you can sell in a very quick time period. Uh, and when you're ready, you have that offer that you can make. And then from there, we show you what to create next from different options and how to create, uh, like I said, a progressive product suite so that uh, you fill in all the gaps and you hit uh, all the major things to really have products that build off of each other and that get people to become those raving fans uh, that we're all looking for. And maybe you're thinking, well, I don't like all this techie stuff. Well, no worries. I have an entire tech library for you that walks you through exactly how to record, that walks you through how to edit, that walks you through uh, all these different software pieces that we mentioned. We go dive into actually how to set everything up uh, even if you don't have a website, I have a couple of videos in there just to help you uh, go through and create the right website for your podcast. So I want to walk you through all that tech so it's not an issue. And then, of course, if you have any questions, I'm, you, I'm in the Facebook group just about every single week doing a live office hours broadcast. Uh, so I will be in there for an hour every week, just taking questions, answering those questions. And so you're gonna get a ton of support. So feel free to, and, and that's in addition to just regular text answers that happen throughout the week. That's in addition to the community jumping in and giving you answers. So uh, all of your tech issues will be taken care of, I promise you. Uh, and maybe you're thinking, well, I don't have an email list. Uh, that is an objection that I hear quite often, but plain and simple, that's not a good excuse because there is no better way to build an email list. There's no better way to grow your audience than to consistently add value on a regular basis. And I'm going to show you, we have a video in one of the modules that walks you through how to get your first 100 subscribers. So we're gonna get you started right away. Uh, we're gonna show you what to do to actually get moving, to get those first few subscribers and then to multiply those subscribers after that. So not having an email list is not an issue. And finally, I wanna just mention here, these are just a few of the, of the feedback that we've gotten from people who've gone through the course. Uh, all you have to do is again, go to podcasting for profits. Oh, we have the wrong URL there, but go for podcasting for profits course.com and sign up. Uh, and I will give you another 15 minutes to actually get that fast action bonus. So when this webinar ends, you have another 15 minutes, uh, and by the, but we'll go to the top of the hour. I'm not going to stick around here necessarily but you're going to have another 15 minutes. You have till the top of the hour to actually uh, sign up uh, and get that fast action bonus. So thank you so much for joining me on this webinar or watching the replay if you're watching the replay. And I really truly believe that podcasting can change your business. That podcasting can change your life. Uh, it is one of the best ways to get your message out into the world. And I believe that you have a message. You have a story, insights, and advice that the world needs to hear. So I want you to go and share that. And I truly think one of the best ways to do that is with podcasting. And Podcasting for Profits will help show you how to go about and create your system in a very smooth and very engaging, in a very efficient way so you can spend more of your time doing what you do best, which is creating content, writing books, and sharing your message while uh, the system will help make all of the rest of that easier for you. So I look forward to seeing you in 
Podcasting for Profits course. Again, just head on over to podcastingforprofitscourse.com and I can't wait to see you inside.